Dear reader, let me introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may therefore have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. It is that way in that way that my book is special. It is not it, it is in that way that you are special. Without you there is no story. Chapter one. Okay, so this goes right into it. Welcome guys to me checking out or my first impressions of the Beacon Pines demo that is part of the Steam Next Fest 2021 for the summer. Normal isn't what it used to be. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines, far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign. A young boy walks alone at dawn. Oh, you can see him walking! His name is Luca von Horn, and like you, dear reader, he is here for a reason. This is so pretty! Oh my god. Oh, we're so cute! Oh my god. Hey, Dad. The morning light filtered through the trees onto the gravestone. How are things going? A gentle rustle of leaves was the only reply. Today's the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. I was six years old when he died, and it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone longer than you were here. It feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Oh. Hey, Luca. Rolo was Luca's best, closest friend. I knew I'd find you here. Well, after I banged on your door till your Graham answered. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. And I checked the pond, and climbed up to the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. Rollo finally noticed the tears welling in his friend's eyes and the flowers on the grave. Oh yeah, right. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone too. She's not gone. She's just... missing. Sorry, I meant to say since she went missing. She's going to come back, Rollo. Of course she is. Okay, Dad. See you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure. Lead the way. Alright. Oh, this is pretty. <gasps> this world is so pretty. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. What reason I was looking for ya? I was wondering if you'd get to that. You know that abandoned warehouse by my place? The old Valentine building? Yeah, well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing. Glowing? Are you sure? Kinda. That place has been empty since... Since before the foul harvest. Yeah. Who'd even want to poke around that place? We would, Rollo. We would. Wait, wait, wait. It's just a busted old warehouse. What do you expect to find there? Answers. My mom's out there somewhere, and it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. You don't have to come, Rolo, if you don't want to. Luca, remember that time I sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop? And you jumped in and said it was your fault before my pa throttled me. This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. I got your back. Thanks, Rolo. Now I think about it, poking around a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I want to spend the first day of summer. Oh yeah. <laughs> the art though, man. I, this, is, this is so cute. Alright, I just have to tell Gran and then we can head out. Where are you going to tell her? I don't know, I'll think of something. It's all the same to you. I'll meet you at the welcome sign. Your Gran smells kind of funny. Sweet yourself. I won't be long. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. There's something I feel compelled to bring to your attention. You recall this tale still being written. I have a feeling that you are just the sort of person this story has been waiting for. To that end, there are charms to be found here in Beacon Pines. They are known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. 
Some of them can be found in this very house. Oh, cool. Okay. So what are charms? The drawer was packed with his dad's old baseball card collection. An urge to collect things was passed on to Luca. Oh. Oh. Ponder. Ah, oh, so that was a charm. Ah, you found one. Most excellent. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. <laughs> I like the way he slid it off. Slid off. Grin had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. Oh, this is so cute. Since Grin had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. <laughs> oh, some dusty knickknacks. This is so pretty. I love this art so much. A pair of adult scissors, a can of broken can opener, and mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. Junk. Hey, we found another charm. Oof, something has gone wrong in here. Oh. Oh my, this is quite exciting. I'm now certain you're the one I've been waiting for all these years. You recall is a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You're about to encounter your first turning point. These are certain times in the tale where everything hinges on a single word. We can use various charms you've collected to alter events and thus completely rewrite the fate of Beacon Pines. This is no small thing, so step forth, dear reader, and grasp hold of destiny itself. That's so cool! Beginner's Guide to Gardening is laid open in the, on the bench. Hey, Gran, I'm gonna go. For peace sake, go change out your pajamas before you say another word. But, but nothing. Inside clothes are for inside. And outside clothes are for outside. Luca stared at his feet and muttered under his breath. Mom always let me wear my pajamas in the garden. Well, Eleanor isn't here, is she? Now go upstairs, change, and then we'll talk. Right, of course. I forgot about pajamas. Yeah. You know, that would have been a nice uh, hint. Author. <laughs> Are you upstairs, Rico? Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He wasn't ready to go in yet. Oh. Granny commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things you shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Hide. Okay. Oh, this is such a cool room. It has two beds. Oh, okay. Grant's bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant he could read late into the night. Alright. What's in his room? Oh, a chest. Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still st hung in the air. Chill. I like these. Grant's moving in that meant most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. I would be too. I would be so annoyed. Alright. Alright. Back outside the green. Hi, green. Okay, I'm gonna go hang out with Rollo for the day. See you later. Hold up now. Where are you and Rollo headed? Oh, nowhere special. Can I use this somehow? Less grand new, the better for everyone involved. We're just gonna go. Oh, charm for the day. Ponder, hide, chill. Let's say chill. We're just gonna go chill for the day. The best lies are built on the truth. You always are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. Well, make sure you're done chilling in time for supper. Easy. Impressive, you've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. 
That is the power of charms. A simple word can change the course of history. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. Ooh! The Chronicle is a record of decisions you've made. You can see a turning point which has been revealed. At any time, you can use a Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. The conversation with Graham seems interested, innocent enough, the perfect opportunity experiment with rewriting things. Uh, we're gonna go ponder for the day. We're gonna go ponder for the day. Oh really, what are you guys going to ponder on such a lovely day exactly? This was Luca's chance to sell his alibi. Uh, you know, big stuff. Small stuff. Medium. Mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. Make sure you don't overburden yourself with a preponderance of burdening. Pondering, huh? Oh, forget it. Off with you now. Okay. Grand journey. We're just gonna go hide for the day. We're just gonna go hide for the day. Hide? Traditionally, when is one is try to hide something, they avoid literally using the word hide. Yeah, I guess we're a little met bet some other kids that we could beat them at hide and seek. Aren't you a little old for that? It's not like there's much else to do around here. Make sure you boys are done playing your little game in time for supper. All's well that ends well. I like that one actually. I like that one. We're gonna keep that. I like that I can like mess around and see all the options though. That's really nice. God, the art. The art of this is so good. Come on, come on! Okay. Dang it, Rolo. If we were telling that saw a few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. Oh, the music in this is so good, too! That's a cute little pose. I like this like storybook sort of thing that they got going on here too. There's people. Hey Luca. Looks like you guys are in a hurry. I'm just keeping an eye on my boat. That's us merry times. Z Z Z Z he's sleeping. Come on, Andy, grab his wallet. I'm sorry, Aki, I can't. Do it or we pound ya. Yup. Yeah, but Mom said, yeah, but, yeah, but, if I had a nickel for every yeah, but, I'd be the freaking king of nickels. Ain't that right, Tish? Yup. Alright, I'm just catching my breath a bit. Go on, I'll catch up. Okay. Hey, Mr. Wilder. Alright, Luco, what's the day have in store for ya? I was just wondering if you heard any news about news? Beacon Pie, the Beacon Beacon knows the news that he's knowing. Any news about the old fertilizer warehouse? Nope. Oh, uh, Rolo saw I saw lights. Hmm, Rolo ought to be careful poking around that part of town. The winds of change are blowing, and change is a dangerous animal. Change. Okay. Hey, Miss Nelson. Hey, Luca, any big plans for the summer? Not really. Heard anything about the old fertilizer warehouse? Any strange happenings? Can't say I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy. Be safe now. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna go to the right. This hatch could often be found near the fountain. Too absorbed in a book to be distracted. The two wandered down the wooden path, unaware of the danger ahead. Oh! Oh, this is getting good. Wonder if she's reading our book, you know? Look at just the fellow I was looking for. Hey, Roxy, what's up? Oh, right. Rendezvous with Roxy. This is an important turning point. The first time where you'll use your charms, where your charms will change the course of fate. And currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. Have no fear. We can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. Well, now I'm just rambling. Where were we? Have you seen my idiot brother today? He skipped out before breakfast. Well, not really, no. Can't say I have. Can't say or won't say. Come on, Roxy, would I lie to you? Look, wait up, I almost forgot to tell you. 
Roxy might be lurking around here. It's one of her favorite places to stand around and be useless. Rollo. We make sure she doesn't spot us. Rollo. Why are you doing that turning thing with your body? What, you're not scared, are you? She's harmless and stupid. And she's right around that corner, isn't she? Don't mind me, just over here lurking uselessly. Oh, hey, sis. Nice weather we're having, eh? I couldn't help but notice you snuck out this morning before breakfast. Wasn't hungry. Also couldn't help but notice your morning chores were left unchored. That's a slip my mind. Thanks for letting me know. Anyway, Luke and I have places to be, so if you don't mind... Why well, do you mind? I'm not going to catch hell again because of you. So either you march yourself home and feed those chickens, or I'll haul you home myself. Rollo froze as Roxy took a step forward toward him, cracking her knuckles. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little... chill. Come on, Roxy, it's the first day of summer, this sun's shining, and we just want to take it easy. We'll save tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. It's great and all, but Roll's problems have a way of becoming my problems. And Paul always says tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March, you big oaf. Aw, rats. Expect a full report about the Valentine place. A full report! Aw, uh, he doesn't go with us. So, Fitz. What are you up to this lovely day? Nope. Cool, cool, cool. Aww. Duke Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Never underestimate what a great man can do on his own. Bit much if you ask me. <laughs> oh, Kip's Hardware went out of business over a year ago. The building had sat vacant ever since. Alright. Miss Novak's bookshop was often closed until after lunch. Rummaging through dusty piles of books was one of Luca's favorite ways to kill time. Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. Oh, hey, Mr. Nungreed. I was just on my way to... I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. I can't stock shelves fast enough, turns it out. Hey, that's great, but I'm actually... I guess Juniper will have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. Uh-huh. Well, don't let this old man slow you down. You just remind her that she still owes me that dance. I promise Grand regretted the second it was made. Will do. She's a fine woman, that Juniper. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. Uh, gotta go. <laughs> Sweeter than any jam on earth. The phone booth was brand new, part of town's Beacon Pines Your Born initiative. It didn't see much use. Alright. Oh, there's bees here. Oh, I can jump? Oh, <gasps> I didn't know that. Oh, the path led to a small hollow at the edge of a weep wood. Okay, no turning back now. Caution, electrified fence. Is that sign new? The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Okay, so what would Rollo do if he was here? Luca often asks, asks himself what Rollo would do, so that he could rule out that option. I'm definitely not touching that thing. Hmm... Yeah, there's an extra path this way. Uh, okay. That's not sus at all. Doesn't look like there's anything I can do here, though. I don't know what I'm doing with that. Ow. As sparks flew from the fence, the light atop the section shut off. Two bulbs remained. I see. That's two. One more to go. Okay. There we go. 
Fence Buzzy gave away to silence. Okay, moment of truth. Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now it only stood as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Okay, so Rolo wasn't exaggerating for once. What's going on here? There's only one way to find out. Wow, that smells awful. Too bad Rolo's not here. He'd have no problem poking around in there. The hose emitted a subtle sound. It was actively draining some sort of liquid. Hmm. Locked. Luca thought he heard a faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper? Footsteps? The sound of footsteps grew louder. Hello? Uh, what? <laughs> the heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but it felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as he slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, into the green light. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself, but change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? Oh, okay. So we got this now. We got the poop. In the past, it was to be a little poop. Make a break for it. This is madness. Ah! Did he just kick me? When all you want, you little twerps, you gotta come home eventually. Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. Uh, sorry, Nunkri, kinda in a hurry now. <laughs> Boy's got too much of his father in him. I win! A little help? I am the champion. We were racing? Did that road get longer? Like anything ever changes around here. It seemed longer. You're just lightheaded from the run. You really need to pace yourself better next time. Not sure why I would take advice in, from second place. Has that son always been here? Wait, what? Caution, electrified fence. No, that's definitely new. Creepy. How are we going to get around an electric fence? Don't worry, I got this. Why did you do that? I always said you can figure out what the plan was when you're done. Great. What now? Well, I did my part and established that touching the fence is bad. I'm sure you can handle it from here. I'll supervise. From a safe distance. Alright, well, we already know how to take care of it. Whoa, you're a genius. Boom. I think that did it. Luca, you never fail to impress. The glowing windows of the warehouse came into view. Rollo began to bounce excitedly. Check it out! Dang, Rollo, you weren't exaggerating for once. Was there ever any doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing two, whack two crack detectives are on the case. This is crazy. This is awesome. Check out this puddle. That's not normal. And this hose. Oh man, the door's locked. Try harder. No dice, it won't budge. I'm tempted to prove you wrong, but I wouldn't want to embarrass you. Oh well. The dumpster's new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. I can't really see what's in here. Who did all this? My nose is itching. I think I smell some treasure. Are you sure that isn't hazardous waste? Just help me get in. Roll low. It'd be my honor to throw you in the trash. Come on, Lady Luck. Aw, oh, dang. So, what's in there? Let's see. A squishy bag of squish. Wow. 
Hang on, there's more. A bunch of stagnant sludge. Your natural habitat. Wait, hold the phone. Two, hold two phones. Check these bad boys out. Are those walkie-talkies? Just like Hank Atomic Communications. Do these actually work? Ground command to Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This Hank Atomic ground command, you're coming in 5 by 5 How, uh, how are your vital readouts, Hank? It's getting a little stuffy in here. Requesting assistance for evac. Help is on the way. What was that? Someone's coming. Give me your hand. I'm trying. My hands are covered in squish. Scoot over. I'm coming in. Oh. Uh, tell me you saw that? Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back. Get down. Uh, that looks like a body. What? The voice sat petri petrified under the weight of the bag. Okay, okay, okay. I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm. There's no reason to panic. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Rollo, calm down. You have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude, I'm not holding your hand. Quit messing around. The other what other slime-covered hand would be in here? Ah! Ah! I'm beginning to see the benefits of Run For Our Lives plan. Right, we've clearly established them faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? Flaming chicken coop, Luca. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go, count to 100. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run. Actually, either way. Follow yourself. Rollo. Yeah? I'll give you credit. You found an eventful way to start our summer. It's what I do. Well, here goes nothing. Lucas sat in the dark, tracking the sound of Rollo's footsteps as he ran. One, two, three. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rollo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. 35, 36, 37. The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Screw it, that's long enough. Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rollo, no sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to get moving. Luca clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Deacon's pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night, throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room, and running to sleep as abruptly as he hid his pillow. Chapter 2. Finding a friend. So, I'm not going to go through chapter 2, just because it's already 28 minutes into this. So... Yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching, though. This is really cool. This is such a cool game design. Dude, I'm so hyped for this. This is so cool. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, Yeah, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe to me here on YouTube and go follow me over on Twitch. I stream there four days a week. Thank you so, so much for watching this it's for watching. Yeah, yeah, words. Okay. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.